Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Up your arsenal. Last time, we ended up arriving back at the Starship Phoenix to defend it from Dr. Nefarious after finding out that the data disk ended up containing his entire master plan. Well, the bio-obliterator is recharging on planet Koros, so we're going to mount our counterattack right there. But first things first, I'm going to change the color of my ship. I have my priorities straight. I mean, seriously, the whole thing with Velden, though, uh, that I was going in for the last episode, we've never seen anyone besides Ratchet on Velden. Why should I care about Velden if he roboticizes it? All right, so we're going to go with Sasha Scarlet on this one. And we are going to go with that nose and, uh, for the hell of it, standard wings. All right, so let's stop is Planet Koros. Now, Planet Koros contains two, count them, two titanium bolts. I don't know why I emphasize the two. One skill point and one trophy. Now, hopefully, when I end up getting the trophy, I won't end up messing things up. And for the skill point for this one, I recommend having the Box Breaker version 2 because it requires you to break everything in, a, in the robot base that we're going to be going to. So, yeah, make sure to have that. There it is! But how are we supposed to take it out? My biggest gun wouldn't even put a dent in that thing. Then we will need a bigger gun. Yeah, right. Where are we gonna get that kind of firepower? Found it. Huh? Whoa. Yeah, that ought to do it. If you can get me inside the command center, I can override the targeting system and take control of that ion cannon. Let's go! Hey, pal. Today's special offer is a plasma coil. Mint condition. Still in the box. See you soon. Well, yeah, definitely seeing you soon, as in you're seeing me right now, Slim. That's a goddamn plasma coil and one of the last weapons in the game as well. So, let's go back there. I have my priorities totally straight. Because I definitely want that. Especially since it's free. And free is good. Alright, so, let's go to Slim Cognito, and let's get ourselves a Plasma Coil again. So, mine. What did you guys do to win all these free weapons? I ah, just had to save the entire Bogon galaxy, is all. So, our Plasma Coil has returned to us, and it already has more ammunition than my Bouncer, so it is already more useful. Pretty much same as the last game on how it works. It's extremely powerful, extremely versatile, and... Oh, so lovely. So, there's still one last weapon that we're going to be getting from Slim Cognito, and that's going to actually be showing up when we go to the final world, the moment we end up landing. That's something I hate, because it seems like I'm breaking up the action to go and do it, but if I could get it sooner, I definitely would. Believe me. Alright, so we're back. And, let me just do overhead strikes like this, break everything. Oh, hi, guys. Plasma coil. Already amazing. Pretty much working like how it did in the last game, except for the acid mods. The acid mods are pretty much taken out of this game. Uh, plasma coil will shock enemies once the coil is actually near them, so we're all set for that. Plasma coil does kind of level up slow, unfortunately. But we got these big guys to help us with that. Okay, it takes three shots. See? Big guy helps out greatly with that. Alright, so break everything around. Overhead strikes galore. Go! Die. Or completely miss. That works too. Alright. Get everything right here. Oh, I have a box break of it. Right now, no, uh, well, yeah, I have Box Breaker version 2. I, meant, I ended up hitting a 
uh, multiplier coin. I didn't realize that. Oh, bye, guys. Stop that. Stop that. It hurts. Stop that. You. I said stop it. Stop moving. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to break all your stuff. That's so wrong for me to break all your stuff. All right, and whoop. You know, when I go whoop, that usually means you die. That is a lot of enemies. That is a lot. You need to stop that. Stop that right now. Hi. Bye. Not dealing. Ow. Well played, good sir. Well played. All right. Now, I know that there is... Ah! Oh, come on. I guess what I got... Die. There we go. And... Oh, right there. And why the hell not? Yes, the glass actually counts as well when it comes to breaking everything for this. Believe it or not. All this glass counts for it. This is why I say it is possible to do this without needing... Without having the box breaker version 2. I just don't recommend it in the slightest. It would take too long. You know what's sad? With some of these streamers and everything, they were probably having like a party. And I'm, I'm just destroying all this stuff. Where'd the... Giant, okay, I was about to say, where'd the giant robot go? And bang. Yep, these guys fire missiles down too, so they are just oodles of fun. And we're actually by the trophy, and I believe the first of the... Uh, not skill points. The first of the titanium bolts, if I remember correctly. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go on these crates. I'm going to have to go over this way. And go inside here, and here is our trophy of Courtney Gears! Of course, Nefarious would have this on his face. So that's easy. But what we also got to do is we got to go onto this side and over this fence, which is why I totally whipped that. Oh! I love being on friendly, friendly fire servers. Well, balls! And then more of these guys show up. Come on! Wow, these guys die in one. Oh, jeez! How many of them are there? Nope. Because one more of that will kill me. I don't want to die right now. Uh, damn it! Wait, wait! I don't think that broke. I don't think that broke. I don't think that broke. Okay, it didn't entirely break, thank goodness, because right over here is the first of the titanium bolts. We're actually almost done with that. With this, we only have two of them left in this game. We are really coming along, ladies and gentlemen, and this is actually very impressive for me, because this is just barely my first playthrough of the game. Because I still have to do challenge mode to get uh, my nanotech to 200, because it is impossible to get your nanotech to 200 in regular mode, because it caps at... Um, 100, which is why I'm not gaining any more nanotech, which I could really use. Oh, the robot base, where I just broke everything and got everything. To oh, hi, guys. Don't want a deal. Don't want a deal. Don't. Oh, my. I'm concerned greatly. Don't mind me just breaking your shit. And stealing your bolts, because the second of the titanium bolt is up here. Mine. So, that takes care of that, which means all we have to do is get the remaining skill point for this place, and then we are done. That is used for getting the skill point. Oh, whoa, my god. It's like I walked into a cluster. Oh, cutting ahead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back after that kerfuffle of dying right in front of a checkpoint. Because, go me. Die. 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 Uh, so close to leveling up. All right, die. You two, you all die. Go away from me. You two, die. Ah, you're behind me. No. Bad. There we go. I think I'm safe now. I'm safe to break all their shit. No, I'm not safe to break all their shit. Because you're still alive. There's one over there that I see. 
Two. Okay, never mind. Now I should be safe to break all your shit. No, I'm still not. I want to be safe. Can I please be safe to breaking to break all your stuff? It would be greatly appreciated if I could. I mean, I'm just breaking all your stuff and robbing you of all your cash. Nothing too heinous here. Just a greedy person trying to get money. Well, at least these guys managed to kill themselves. And bop. All right. So let's go over this way now and break all the stuff over here. There we go. That is a skill point for breaking everything in the robot space. Or around that. I guess it's not exactly everything. It just breaks stuff. Again, having the box breaker version 2 will help greatly with that. I am sick and tired of you guys. Now die. Where are they coming from? Stop it. Die. Get a checkpoint before I get myself shot up. So. Checkpoint should be right here. Well, continue point. Pretty much now, all I have to do is get Clank to that base, and then we are done with it. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's get rid of that. Did I ever mention that the splitter rifle is amazing, even late game? Which I have to give credit for this game, what it managed to do. Insomniac really managed to balance the weapons to being powerful enough to be carried through the entire game without having ridiculous amounts of ammunition, at least until challenge. Plus, also, returning some goodies and everything. All right, so, anything around here? Nope. Okay, let's go up here. Hi, guys. I meant to do that. It will go badly for you in a, in a while. Dang it. This is why having a lock-on mod would be great. Never mind, that thing managed to tether itself up. All right, so, plasma coil version 2. Now I just need to get into version 3 so I can get that lock on mod. Die. Out. Die. Or completely miss. One of the two. That miss missing works too, I guess. Alright, let's get that open. Now for the fun part. Go, baby, go! Miss all my shots! Miss all my shots! Whoop! Dang it. There we go. Wow, I am almost dead. I really might actually need to go and get that ultimate armor. Oh, hi, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, never mind. Not everyone's dead. Now they are. Whoop, bang. Oh, look, big guy. Whoop. Dude. Okay, I guess. All oh, right, it increased in power. Uh, level one would have taken three shots. I guess it takes two shots now. Look at all the guys! That's why they gave me that Inferno Box! Look at who's not using the Inferno Box! I really never use the Inferno Boxes. And two. There we go. Night, night, big man. Oh, jeez. Ignore me! I'm just going for this ammunition. I really, really need it. Uh, where are you guys? Oh, hi. Bye. Ow. Bye. Alright. I believe there's going to be a ship. There was a ship. And then there was nothing. Alright, here's the command center. Clank, do your stuff. Oh, even a little chair. After all those hollow fields, there is one thing you should know by now. Do not mess with Agent Clank. Incoming call from the Phoenix. Nice shooting, Clank. There's no telling how many lives you just saved. But we're not done yet. Huh? Al just finished decoding the data disk. Nefarious secretly constructed a second bio-obliterator. A new model even more dangerous than the one you just destroyed. Where is it? Nefarious has a master control center on planet Mylon. We believe the last bio-obliterator is there now, guarded by an entire robot army. Then we'd better get moving. Be careful, guys. This time, they know you're coming. 
All right, so downloaded coordinates for the command center on planet Mylon, the final planet in the game, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. Roxas 1359. Next time, we're going to head off to planet Mylon as well as get some of the last remaining things in the game. See you guys then.